what's up crafty crew so let's finish up these necklaces that we've been making we did the resin in a couple videos back we used our sticker printer in the last video and now we're going to top them off with a top coat of uv resin to make sure that sticker stays on there and we're going to turn them into necklaces get them ready for sale or giveaway so as always i'm doing the first one in real time just so that you can see i'm doing a small thin coat of uv resin just to cover that sticker make sure that it's not going to come off over time um, and i'm using a small paintbrush just to kind of distribute it evenly and make sure that um, it's a nice thin coat on there wiping some of the extra off on the edges and this is the one that we did um, with the sticker of an angry person or an angry emoji on the front and a happy emoji on the back so that you can flip over so this is the first side we're doing and then the very last one we do we'll do the second side but we got to go ahead and let that cure perfection so we're going to stick that under the uv lamp um, I usually do like three to five minutes. If it's a really big piece, you know, eight to 10 minutes, um, you can't cure it too much. So <laughs> if you um, take a little stick and poke it, it uh, and it's still sticky, it's not ready yet. Once it's totally cured, it shouldn't be sticky at all. So the rest of these I am gonna do at a much more sped up rate, just so that we don't take all the time. I will slow down the reveals. Um, that one is the butterfly one that we did. This one I believe is the little snake or the worm and you can't see that one very well. Um, so that's one that I will be giving away for free. Um, this one is maybe my favorite one of all time. The little pipe turned out so cute. The mushroom. And we have, I believe this one is our taco. And then we also have our little mushroom one and our pizza. So I did get a thin layer of UV resin all over those. And here we are doing the back of that first one. Um, and I'm gonna let those cure for about three minutes. Now we want to go in and we want to make them into necklaces so that we can wear them. So as you can see, I have my um, circle of circles over here is what I call it. Um, and it has a bunch of different size rings in it um, based on the thickness of the resin is how I choose the size ring. So I'm going here with about a medium size ring. And as always, I'm going to do the first one in real time to show you what I do. And then we'll speed up the rest. So I use a set of, you know guys, I don't know if these are needle nose pliers. You'll have to let me know in the comments what kind of pliers they are. And if you watch my videos, you know I have a ton of different types of pliers. Um, so these are just the ones that I chose today. But I just slide the ring right on over there, open up the pliers to open up the ring. I put the necklace in and I just close it right back together. I try to open it as evenly as possible so that I can just squeeze it right back together. And there we have our first one. So as I was saying, I'm going to speed up the rest just so that this video is not 20 minutes long <laughs> because it easily could be. Um, here, I realized that when I went over it with the UV resin, I covered the hole a little bit. So I went in with my drill and just drilled that hole out perfectly. Once again, sliding my ring over the top of my pliers, opening it up, sliding it into the piece, sliding my necklace cord in there, and then just closing it right back up. Um, this is a little bit of a learning curve. It does take time. I know it looks like I'm doing it super easily here, but it's only because I've done it a hundred times. So if you are struggling, do not be discouraged. It does take a little bit to learn and to get it perfectly. And all these necklaces are going to be available on my Etsy store. Um, the ones that didn't really turn out so great, you probably won't see on there. Um, those are the ones that I give away for free um, at different events that I do, vendor events and um, festivals and burns and stuff like that that I go to. Um, but the other ones that did turn out, like this cute mushroom one, you will see this available on my Etsy store in the next couple days. So if you want one, make sure you grab one. Things do sell out rather fast. 
Um, I can only ship to the USA and Canada right now, um, but I am working on expanding. There's our big mushroom one. That one is one I probably will give away just because it's not very prominent. Or I might even keep it for myself because I do really love it. <laughs> and here is our last one. This is our butterfly one. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching and come back next time to see what else we can do.